Shalom and welcome to our episode of Living Supernaturally where we look into God's word, we're encouraged, we're built up and we look for applications for our day. In this series, we have been looking at the fear of the Lord and through the past few days, we've looked at certain benefits and blessings that scripture talks about as we fear the Lord. Today, we look at Proverbs chapter 22, verse 4. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. I'm sure that these benefits are something nobody would like to turn away from. In this verse, there are five aspects of this proverb. There are two conditions and there are three blessings. So we read that the payoff for humility and the fear of the Lord is threefold. We have riches, we have honor and life. Humility is the first condition. We see the second condition as the fear of the Lord. As we have been looking in the last few days, this is seeking to honor God in all that you do. So for a man who does everything to please the Lord or to obey God, he avoids anything to dishonor him as much as possible. We see that there are these three blessings that are spoken of. So when you and I want to please God more than pleasing ourselves, we humble our needs for the sake of God and this, these are certain things that he promises us. Riches are the first blessing and these riches could be in different forms. It could be a spiritual blessing, it can be physical blessings. But when we fear the Lord, we are opening ourselves to the blessing of riches. The second blessing it talks about is honor. Honor being the second blessing. So God honors the one who fears him and brings him to favor with both himself and with man. And when we revere God, we are also he will also bring us to a place of finding honor with others because of our conduct, which may be gracious and righteous. The third blessing that we see is life. And we see this emphasis being made again and again about life. We saw that the fear of the Lord is the fountain of life yesterday. So scripture does mention as we fear him, we have abundant life. We have a joyful life. We have a good life. We have productive life. We have extended and an eternal life. So as a result of understanding and practicing these concepts, we will begin to experience amazing blessings in our lives. This verse notes that the, with the fear of the Lord, we have wealth, we have honor, and we have life. And this principle sets us to have a pretty good way of life as we keep going forward. So let's be encouraged that as we fear the Lord, the Lord has these blessings in store for us. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your promise that as we stay humbly before you and as we continue to fear you in, in awe and in reverence, Lord, that you will give us your promises, promises of riches, promises of wealth, of honor, and a life that is abundant and that is satisfying. Thank you, God, for the eternal life that you have promised with the fear of the Lord. And that is something that we look forward to, Lord. Thank you, God. We ask all these things in your precious name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.